Good afternoon, just. It is 12 o'clock on the dot, Sunday the 28th of January and I am here to do my car boot sale haul. Currently I'm here on my own as is usually the way on a Sunday live stream but hopefully somebody will pop in in a minute and, and stop me talking to myself and getting taken away for the privilege. <laughs> <laughs> it's Heather. Hi Heather. Nice to see you. And Amy, Amy, oh God, today is plainly not going to be a speaking day. Amy Farah Falher. Good morning. Peter Ray's in, of course. Good morning, Peter. Nice to see you all. I hope you're having a good Sunday so far. Good morning, Paul Calvert, reseller and Amanda Yates. I hope you're all well. I'm going to cough. I'm going to start my live stream with a good, good explosion of coughing. <coughs> Sorry about that. Good morning, Shell Staruni, Paul Mosley, Princess Pippa, Lainey Ray, Alan Wide Shut, who says I look lovely in lilac. Thank you. Uh, Danielle Ple Pedge. Sorry, Finn Fashion Plus. Hi, Farron. Phoebe. Darren. Darren Phoebe. Farron. Uh, <laughs> Beth and Palmer, Carrie, uh, Heather, <laughs> Heather's encouraging me to get my lung coughed up, uh, Cats Rants, Elaine D, I'm sorry if I've missed any, I don't think, I think I've got you all, lovely to see you all, I might put the light on, run the sitter in the dark, does that make any difference do you think, it make an awful lot of difference here actually, uh, Lex Oliver's in, hi Lex, lovely to see you all, Hi, are you all having a good Sunday so far, have you been car booting or is it just me, have I the only one who's pulled my finger out and been out this morning? It wasn't too bad. The car boot was smallish. Not as small as last week. Last week was pretty dire, but then last week it was a howling gale and a horrible day. Kirsten's in. Hi, Kirsten. Susan Locke. First time diving into chat for Susan, so be nice to her. They'll be nice to you, Susan. They always are. Toby16 UK. Girl up north. Nice to see you all. Paul Calvert says, I always think you have computer monitors above your boxes. Here, these are just more boxes. Is that what, that, that what you mean there? Yeah, just more. That's my bank of CCTV so I can keep an eye on my stock. <laughs> just more boxes. <laughs> Shell Staruni is still in her onesies but been thinking about reselling. Well, you know, it, it's the thought that counts, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, Peter's car boots doesn't in Epsom, Epsom, blah, 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 in Epsom, sorry, don't start until the first Sunday in March. And Carrie's got a poorly child, so no car boot today. Oh, sorry. I got a few bits. I thought I would pop on and show you. And I'm going to start with these because they're making the bloody bag fall over. Diana Holmes, first time I managed to catch you live. Welcome, Diana. Elaine D, has that wall behind you always been pink? This wall here, well, presumably not since the house was built because that would have been weird in the 1930s, but it's always been pink since I've been live streaming. Uh, you don't normally see that. I normally put the camera slightly more round, I think. So you don't normally get quite such a view over there. But this is where I put the camera today, so this is where it is. So <laughs> Paul Mosley says, can we get a weather update, Wincy? Today is reasonably dry, quite fresh. There's a slight southwesterly wind. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and Lay says, you've not noticed. Yeah, like I said, I think you just don't get to see it normally because the camera's a bit further around. So first item out of the bag because I want to get them out of the way because they're making the bag fall over. I've got two rolls of B&Q Colours wallpaper. Um, it's actually still available in B&Q at £12 a roll. And the reason I bought it is because it's got dogs on it. Look, can you see that? It's called Pooch. It's called Pooch and it's printed with dogs. It's like I said, it's still in B&Q for £12 a roll. So whether I'll be able to sell it or not is, is much of a muchness. But it went into a bag of stuff that I paid £3 for all in. So even if I can't sell it, it's used as... Um, void fill for parcels. So, you know, ne never. I always snap up wallpaper if I can get it cheap enough. Angela finds us off to a car boot sale in the next hour. Surrey is cold, wet, grey and dull. And yeah, Shell Staruni says you can sell it to people who don't get out to b and Indeed, indeed. Uh, home from Home with Lynn and Rich is in. Hi there. And Karin Fish is in. Hi, Karin. No, no, no boot sale for Heather. They don't start again until March. And also she's trying to clear her backlog. It sounds so familiar. Backlog? What backlog? Ignore these two big green bags in the cupboard behind me. They don't exist. You're, you're, you're imagining things. <laughs> I also got, wait for it, a Jeremy Dodgers biscuit tin. <laughs> this time, without manky old crumbs, we're going up in the world. Buddy thinks there's something out there he needs to be telling people about. It's got a couple of scuffs on it, but the last one had scratches on. I sold really quickly. They usually, I've sold two, and each of them has sold kind of within a week of listing. They're not huge. They go for about seven or eight quid. So, you know what I mean? It's never going to, it's not going to buy me my yacht, but paid 50p so why the heck not eh why the heck not uh 
Phoebe's saying something frustrating about Lane, something, something Laney said, and it's very frustrating, but I missed it. I'm sorry, Laney. Didn't get to my MRI due to ambulance not showing. Sixth missed appointment overall now, so I had a couple of low days. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Laney. That's bloody useless, isn't it? I, I think I remember reading in your blog that they say either send the wrong ambulance or they send the ambulance with the wrong lifting gear or some nonsense like that. They don't seem to be get, able to get their shit together, basically. Carmen's up at 5am tomorrow for a train to Suffolk, so she's trying to get her new hall photographed. Shell Strooney picked up an Emma Bridgewater biscuit tin in a charity shop last week. There was something grim inside. <laughs> Some kind of old biscuit. So the lady helped Dr. Pound off. Yeah, that's it. You can clean it, can't you? And Dr. Doodle Doo has joined us. Hi, Doc. I bought this and it's going to be a bit of a fail, actually. Um, I bought it because of how bloody ugly it was. But it was one of my first purchases. It's, it's an accessorised bag. It was one of my first purchases of the day and I didn't notice because I was still a bit bleary eyed that it's quite got a bit of damage here. I don't know if you can see that. And then all on the back this is damaged as well. So that's going to be a bit of a fail. It might even just end up going straight in the charity shop bag. But it was accessorised which of course is connected to Monsoon and I thought it might be worth it. But I might just stick it on a 99p auction and mention the mention the flaws. Isn't it bloody horrible? Don't you think that's horrible? Anybody love this bag? Love the, If you love this bag say so and it'll be yours. Lisa Fenn's in. Hi, Lisa. Um, Lainey's made a complaint. I should think so, too. Uh, Andrea is in. Slow down. Just pulled up at home. Need to get in the house. <laughs> um, Peter Way's asking if I've sold any more challenge items. And the sad thing is, uh, no, I don't think I've sold anything for my Caroline challenge this week. Hang on. Two seconds. I'll just... Um... Yeah, I don't think I've sold anything this week for my Caroline challenge. <coughs> and... Um... I haven't sold my one pound challenge item yet either, so my pink coat is still hanging about. The bag is horrible, put knitting bag in the title. Yeah, that's an idea. That might work. I might give that a go. Good thinking, Karen. So yeah, no more challenge items sold at the moment. I think Caroline has won this challenge somehow. Something tells me that I am buggered. I got these. Now these were in with the three quid stuff. So so far in the three quid we've had the wallpaper. And these roller boots, they are Roses, which is not a brand that I've seen before. But looking on completed and sold, they should go for about 15 to 20. So quite happy with that. They're a size six and a half. I made Sibs try them on just now. She fell over. That was funny. <laughs> so, yeah, so those and the wallpaper so far for three quid. That's not bad, is it? <coughs> Angela says her partner's one pound item has sold, but hers hasn't. Damn it. <laughs> so I've got hair right. Uh... I don't know what else. Oh, also in my three quid, I bought, I bought this. This is just a, diff it's a diffuser. One of those oil diffusers that pumps. I've got one in the front room downstairs. Um, it, it doesn't seem to be branded in any way. It's probably not worth anything, but I might actually use it in the bedroom. If you live with Buddy, you need pleasant scents wafting around your nose to combat the, the, um, the less than pleasant scent that Buddy pumps out of him. So that was in the three quid. So, so far in the three quid, we've had the wallpaper, the... Rollerblades and the diffuser. I hope you're keeping track of this. <laughs> and then there's two more things. Let's get these out. These two, these two things are also from the three quid. So this is a Lego Create the World collector card album. And it's nearly complete. It's not 100%, but it's nearly complete. I didn't know whether there was any value to it or not. And looking on completed and solds, it doesn't look like there's a great deal. But completed ones seem to go for about twelve to fifteen pound. So maybe I'll get six or seven quid for it. Who knows? They're not. They're, even the ones that I thought are missing are not necessarily missing. They've just been slotted into the album elsewhere. So, so yeah, I feel reasonably confident about that. I don't know whether why that one. That, there's a witch there that goes into that one there. I don't know. I don't know why there would be a witch there. Anyway, I'm just talking quietly to myself, aren't I? No, don't mind me. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just live stream my conversations with myself. <laughs> but yeah, so it's nearly complete, and it was in the three quid. So bag of stuff for three quid. I do like my little car boot man. He is a little star. And also in the three quid, PG Warehouse, the inimitable, inimitable, inimitable Jeeves, Volume One. Unabridged Stories, on CD, read by probably Martin Jarvis. Yeah, Martin Jarvis, they usually are. All three CDs in the packet, so <coughs> quite pleased with that. Jeeves is popular. The CDs are more popular than audio cassettes these days. 
Somebody's saying cat. Well, Karen, I'm not sure which Karen's Paulie. Karen, no cross, just more afternoon all here lift, listening in bed or not. Well, sorry to hear you, Paulie. Sorry about that. Read Peter Ray. Any plans to go live with Caroline this week coming? We haven't made no plans at the moment, but that doesn't mean it won't happen. We might just randomly do it one day. Uh, Lisa, yeah, present sense of my car to get two cats. Harry likes to wipe his bottom on the carpet. I've got a dog that does that. Apparently something to do with their scent glands when they start dragging themselves across the floor on their bum. Karen's doing bacon sandwiches and Monty nearly jumped in the grill pan. <laughs> but yeah, we all hope you're better soon, Karen. So that wasn't a bad three quid, was it? Two rolls of wallpaper, a pair of roller boots, a diffuser, a CD book and the album. I, I, I would say the skates should go for 15-ish, I said, 15 to 20. 10, I should, I should say that three quid will probably turn into 50 if I'm lucky. So fingers crossed for that. Let's hope that works. This was another good one. This was, this was a pound. This is a uh, Companion 1200 chess computer. These sell for £29.99. I was particularly pleased to see that. Look at the little price label. Does anybody remember Tandy? I think it was before Curry's Tandy. £24.99 that cost for Tandy back in the day. That one's complete. You may remember I bought this one a couple of weeks ago. I bought this one. Somebody, The chap said it needs a little bit of attention. I assumed that the attention that he meant was that the battery compartment might be a bit glued up or something no what he meant was half the damn pieces are missing not amused oh Karen's had the wrong sweetener which she's allergic to and has given a nasty stomach cramp so I'm sorry to hear that maybe a hot water bottle on the tummy I find that helps if I get stomach cramps for any reason welcome to Carla's NHS direct helpline <laughs> I got two that's not my 50p each that's not my puppy and that's not my snowman going in a bundle as usual julie posh totty says i thought i'd missed you few most people are relieved if they have missed me peter may carla do you ever pick up video games do you know peter i don't it's something i know nothing about there is a couple that i know that i need to look out for so i know that i need to look out for rule of rose on ps2 i know i need to look out for crash bandicoot that's it that's all i know that's the full extent of my knowledge so i would spend all my time picking up stuff that was absolutely no use whatsoever I've got a really tickly throat because I nearly choked to death on my breakfast earlier on. It's left me with a scratchy throat. <clears throat> I was at breakfast with my friend Sibs and my next door neighbour Richard and his um, his wife who is Wild Cherry on the reselling groups and her friend Mikhail and their baby daughter who is just a year old. The only person who noticed that I was choking to death on my breakfast was the baby and she was laughing like a drain about it. Fantastic. I'll die. And the only person I'll know will be the one-year-old child next door and she'll have found it funny. Excellent. Who needs friends, eh? <laughs> Andrea says, right, I mean, you can carry on. Oh, Anthony's just arriving home, so the dogs are going to go mental now. Anthony's been doing the car boot sale this morning, so hopefully he's made a fortune. Uh, Carrie says, picked up a PS1 crash yesterday, 49p, but it's scratched. You can get them kind of unscratched if you go into cx or play they have the machine that that recoats them or whatever it else you know scratch, i don't know what it does but it's, it sorts them out that's all i know peter Ray says i did a video on youtube how much the grand theft auto playstation 2 video games are in different variations i've got to watch that peter maybe i can pick up some knowledge because i'm sure i'm walking past money i'm sure i am <coughs> i got two more potato heads Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. There's Mr. There's Mrs. She's the one with the Donald Trump hair. Now, you remember I had a Donald Trump hair do one last week. I've already bundled that with some other ones, and now I've got another one. So there she is with her with her Donald Trump hairdo. And they were a pound each, I think. Yeah, they were a pound each. Hiya, I'm doing a live stream. Don't know if they heard that or not. Yeah, so they were a pound each. Whether I'll wait and add them to another bundle or whether I'll sell them as a pair, I don't know. The rollerblade's going to shoot off back in there, isn't it? Falling on a bruise. I just got big Sony boombox type thing for a pound. That's really good, isn't it? And Carrie's talking to somebody about computer games, I think. Shell Struini, how many potatoes do you put in a bundle and very much depends how many chips I want. Um, it, it, it really does depend on what I've got. If I've got a lot of incomplete ones, then I'll make up a larger bundle. So I've just done a bundle that's got 
one very large head, two ordinary size heads and two baby heads and then assorted bits and bobs. And I've put that on, I think, at 15 quid because it's, there's not necessarily enough to make everybody's head up. <clears throat> but if I've got full sets, then I'll put them on for a bit more. I, I, there's no real in the decision making process. I just do whatever I think at the time. And Karen's saying, how much does mint, zel mint velvet sell for you, Carla? Again, it depends on what it is. Some of it's more popular than others. I usually pick up mint velvet if I see it, but I, I, my charity shops local seem to know what it's worth. So um, I don't tend to get it at the price that leaves enough margin. Leaves enough margin for me, really. Peter and Phil are now talking about PlayStation games with uh, Carrie, so that's great. There's a bit of knowledge being shared there. But yeah, definitely if I see Mint Velvet at a decent price, I always pick it up. But my charity shops, you know, they, they tend to price it at like 10 quid. I'm not paying 10 quid in a charity shop, I'm just not. Karen says, I picked up Mint Velvet top the week before last, and it's listed with lots of watchers. Brody Brewer, how much for the Mr. How much will I get for them? I don't know. I will probably list those two at maybe 15 quid for the pair, probably. Probably. Alex Oliver, never seen a mint velvet in the wild here. Do you know, I went into my local cherry shop the other day and I thought I had struck gold because there was mint velvet after mint velvet. After, it was just loads of it. Every other item seemed to be mint velvet. And I was like, what's going on here? And then I realised they must have had the... Um, they must have had... Sorry, bear with me. I've lost my train of thought completely. They must have had the donations from, I can't make that go away. They must have had the donations <laughs> from the returns at Mint Velvet. They must have had them donated because every single one was damaged. Every single one of these Mint Velvet items had some damage to it. Um, and some of them, some of them really, usually the damage looked like somebody had ripped off the security tags and had damaged the item so <clears throat> yeah so it, it, it was, it was a gold. and they were still bloody expensive they were still bloody expensive bear with me just a second i'm just going to reply into a message a second Right, sorry about that. Okay. So we talked about middle, but I don't know what I was talking about before that. <coughs> I can't do anything about the loudness of the pings. I'm really sorry. It's um, messenger messages coming in. I don't know how to stop it pinging in the background. <laughs> uh, Carmen says I've paid £7 for a nice mint velvet jumper. Yeah, I think it would depend on what the item was. how much I would be willing to pay <laughs> yeah uh, Bethan says we get a lot of Ted Baker in my local charity shop with the labels cut out brand new with tags and the charity shop wants £20 each for them that's it there's just not enough margin left is it? that's the thing it's just not enough. and that's it's their prerogative to charge what they want but there's just not enough margin left <coughs> uh, what else have I got I got this baby Mickey rattle toy he was 50p he is uh, Posh Paws. Posh Paws International Copyright Disney, www.disney.com. So I don't know how much he'll go for. I haven't actually, um, haven't actually priced him up at all. I've lost my thread completely, haven't I? I can't even speak. Carly, need to quit those drinks. I stripped my stomach line and drinking those cans for years. Mate, it's what I live on. That's my addiction. I'm not addicted to anything else, but that's what I'm addicted to. treasure pirate we get john lewis stuff in the scope shop the prices are way too far out <coughs> peter ray carla don't do don't do what peter what should i not do i got another one of these this was a quid um so i bought a red one a couple of weeks ago now i've got a blue one <coughs> don't do a nick and buy so much gear i'm not going to buy a job lot there's no danger of me buying a job lot of anything I could, there's nowhere to put it absolutely nowhere it could go <laughs> I got a Born to Shop mug. You'll always be my friend, you know too much. These sell for about 6 99 so if you can pick them up for not very much money, this one was 50p. They're worth picking up for that price, but not worth paying much more for. And last item out of the bag. The last 
like that bag. I bought this. Now, this is a Braun electric shaver. And I bought it because it looked quite vintage. It was in its case. <coughs> in its case. Um, whether it's in working order or not, I don't know. No, 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 but it looked, you know, it looked all neat and tidy with all its necessary bits. And it was 50p, but I can't find it. I'm completed and sold. So... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, that, like I said, this, this throat's really annoying me. I'm probably annoying you guys too. And that's everything. I spent a total of £12.50 plus a pound to get in. Plus I bought Natalie a hamster cage for three quid, which she will give me a three quid back. That's downstairs. Not bad for £12.50, really, all this little lot. There's some money there. The chess computer will go for 30 Um Yeah, there's, there's, I've got, I'll, I'll make my money back and a bit more, quite happily. <clears throat> Shell Sterling says, I reckon if you only have one vice, you should be content with that. If I cut out caffeine, sugar, chocolate, I don't know what I'd do with myself. Exactly. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I don't go out. I have no vices apart from eating the wrong food and drinking Pepsi Max. That's it. Oh, I'm being a bitch. That's, is that a vice? <laughs> uh, Peter Ray, do you find more and more resellers are now buying big job lots rather than going to charity shops, car boots, etc.? Or do you find resellers are still going around the charity shops and companies? I think we're probably split. I know people like Nick and Andrea and Beck and Zahir are buying the big stuff, but they're also going sourcing because one of the things we like about being a resellers is the sourcing. We enjoy doing the sourcing. We enjoy the rummaging. There's, there's the thrill of the find, isn't there? The, 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 sometimes it's the thrill of the finding something you know will sell and seeing the price different going, ha, ha, I know there's money in that one. And sometimes it's the thrill of the surprise sale. So the thing that you buy... <clears throat> because you think it might sell and then you get home and check complete and go oh, look it's brilliant so yeah that, that's that, that doesn't get old for me I really enjoy that part of it and I think if I bought a big job lot then that's what I'd, I'd miss doing but there's very you know everybody has their own different ways of what suits them I know um Zahir said didn't he that after he bought his RC haul they stopped sourcing in charity shops because they figured we don't need to we've got all this stuff to list and sell but he did miss he missed the sourcing and you get bored listing the same things over and over again. So one of the one of the joys for reselling is the variety, isn't it? There's the fact that you might have no two two no two days the same. <coughs> Graham says you're never a bitch, Carly, you're a national treasure. Bless you, my child. You don't know me at all. <laughs> Absolute cow. <laughs> and yeah, Peter Ray says, yeah, I like finding that bolo item. Yeah, the the pleasure's in the sourcing, isn't it? The pleasure really is in the sourcing. Right, I am going to call it a short one today. <laughs> looks like Mr. Potato Head is contemplating a suicidal jump off the shelf. He really does. He looks, and she doesn't, doesn't she look like she might just be going to give him a nudge in the back? Over you go, mate. <laughs> Karen says, sourcing is my reward when I've listed lots. Yeah, if you've, if you've had a good, good day solid listing, then you can reward yourself by going out sourcing, can't you? And yeah, Peter Ray, it's the thrill of the chase and getting that item and selling it more than everyone else. I don't necessarily need to, un un you know, to sell it for more, but just to, to I like buying it for a pound, selling it for a tenner gives me pleasure. I'm like, way, way, did it again. Hooray, it works. It's it's a bit of, um, what's the word? Like, another word for confirmation. I can't think of the word I wanted. But confirmation that you, do, that, you, that you know what you're doing, that kind of validation. That's the one I wanted. Gives you validation that you're that you're on in the right game. <laughs> so I am going to cut it short today. Hi Carrie JN, I'm so sorry I'm about to go. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut it short because Anthony and Sarah have been out doing a car boot sale today and I'm interested to see how well they've done. Um <coughs> oh, I've got a ka ching, isn't that lovely? I don't know whether they've brought the car back full of stuff. I did say to them that you know the stuff I'd given them I didn't want back. <clears throat> they took a massive bag of DVDs. I said bring them back because we'll music magpie them if um if we can't find anything else to do. Sorry about the loud kachings. I must remember to turn the volume off on my phone before I start what live stream and I never remember to do that. This kaching is an offer on the do you remember the vintage money savings tin that I bought last week, showed you in last week's sale? I listed it at 9 99 a best offer and I'm just accepting there will be another kaching any second now. I'm accepting an offer for eight pound fifty. So that was good because that was in filler bag for a pound, I think, wasn't it? Or was it in a handful of stuff that I had for a fiver? Can't remember which way around. There you go, there's the other ka -ching. Sorry it's loud. <laughs> there will be another ka -ching and a deedly doo doo if they pay immediately, so you've been warned. <laughs> Elaine thinks I'd be great on Gogglebox. No, because I swear too much. All you would hear if I was on Gogglebox is beep, 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 beep. <laughs> 
Carrie J couldn't face the car, but he thought it would be rubbish because it's been rainy. I think Toby's got, I think Toby's put the little monkey up and I think it's the hear no evil monkey to, for, for the loud noises. <laughs> My son could do a video haul next. I don't think he will. I don't think he enjoys the idea of being on YouTube. Although when he comes in, he doesn't hide, does he? Natalie's more likely to hide. Shell really says, I need daily reassurance that I can spot out items of value. That's absolutely it. Whenever something sells, it's that little, phew, yes, yes, another bit of reassurance that I'm doing it right. <laughs> right, Karen says, see you soon. Wish me luck on the trains. Good luck on the trains, Karen. You'll be fine. Trains are lovely. I like trains. You just sit there and they take you and you don't have to concentrate. It's brilliant. You do have to remember to get off at the right place. I did go three stops past my stop once on a train. And there was another night I was coming home from Manchester to Bristol on the train and I fell asleep on the train and I woke up in Newport which is after Bristol on the train line and I had this panic attack thinking I'd missed my train and started gathering all my stuff and rushing to get off and it was the middle of the night and I had no idea how I was going to get home from Newport and the guard stopped me and he said where are you wanting and I said Bristol he said it hasn't been there yet it's been rerouted <laughs> so luckily I didn't get off otherwise I really would have been stranded in Newport for no reason Treasure Pirate Heather says am I the only one who likes debobbling jumpers I've just ordered one of the Fake Rachel D bobblers. It's tr DPD have tried to deliver it today while I was out, and they're going to bring it back tomorrow apparently. But no, I'm looking forward to debobbling with a decent debobbler because mine's rubbish. Right, I'm going. I love you all. Have a fantastic Sunday. I'm going to go and um, tidy all this up and make it look like I'm doing something constructive with it. Have a lovely Sunday, everybody, and I will hopefully speak to you all soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Just coming to say goodbye. <laughs> Bye.